Yeah, boss, we got big problems. You better call that robot, that spot show. It's that spot bot. I just realized that I didn't really put any inserts to break this up into multiple videos. Um, I think originally I didn't plan to do that, but anyways, here we go. So we went to White Court, we dropped off that APEG stuff, and uh, I'll just start the video again as I come through Edson. No, let's start it off in Hinton. So from Hinton to the Willow, out to location. And we're going to grab a P-Tank, and then that P-Tank's got to go to Grand Prairie. And we'll uh, go there, come back out on the Willow, pull Cat to the F-Road, which I didn't know. I knew where the pull Cat was, but I didn't know where the F-Road and any of that. I just kind of got some jibber-jabber or something about the Hay Road. I thought it was the Hay Road, but the turn is just after the Hay Road. So, and then we'll take that to Grand Prairie and dump that off at Grant's yard.
well to the no. I got room to go, so they were like, oh, it's no longer you got the scissor, scissor flat. And I'm like, well, I could suck it ahead a lot more. It's at 5'7 there, and I'm heavy on the ass, so it makes perfect sense there. Obviously, someone thought it was way longer. So back she goes. And then I'll pull the pins once she teeters, and then we'll suck her flat, kick her back in.
turns out it was that road. Never been down before, so I was like, uh, someone told me the hay road, so. I was looking for signs, I didn't see any signs. Luckily, I got somebody on the radio. So we went from the willow. I knew where the pole cat was, but I didn't know where the cut across was to get out to Highway 40 here, which is where we're gonna go across to Grand Prairie through Grand Cash. Take these little bright asses. Oh, we can't even see anything, it's too dark. So yeah, just going to check the load out. Uh, so yeah, this is the F road that cuts across from the Polcat. Like I'm supposed to know that. Two hands. It's gonna be a slow drive, I'll tell you that. This thing definitely doesn't have a lot of torque. It's kind of slow. Seems to be not too bad once you get gone, but as soon as you throw a hill at it, it feels like a 400 big cam that's fully loaded. What's this? Oh, I just 
Probably can't see that, but this thing is so rotten. <sighs> Gonna have to play my D sign anyway. I'm not putting you back. All right, got the headlights clean, got the D sign clean. It was all covered with dirt. Uh, we're just where the F road meets Highway 40, if I didn't already say that, and then we're gonna cut across Grand Crash. Crash, Grand Cash, into Grand Prairie, just on the south side of Grand Prairie in an industrial park, Evergreen Industrial Park, I do believe, to Grand's Yard and drop this off, hopefully tonight, we'll see. See you there. Welcome to beautiful Grand Cache, Alberta. Starting to flurries right now, which is never great when you're out here. Little soldier on, of course. Hopefully it lets up. I could see the big black cloud coming when I was leaving Hinton there. When I got onto the pavement there, I was like, oh, there's something's coming. So, I don't think I'm going to be coming back this way anyway. It's shorter to go to White Court from Grand Prairie and then back over to Edson. So, I do believe I have to go back tomorrow again. So. We'll get going because we still got like another two hours. Probably a two and a half in this thing.
Thank <laughs> you. 